Hi everyone, welcome to the Gachina Kitchen. I'm your host, Earl Hamlin, and what a beautiful day we have here in the studio for some Southwest Cowboy Cooking, and we have a show for you today. All right, now today my guest chef is from the Kingman Boomers. Okay, you're asking what is that? Okay, those are the folks that are getting money together so that we can have a July 4th, which is just around the corner, fireworks display. All right, now, so my special guest today is Patty Nee, and she is going to be cooking some cube steaks and some potatoes, and she has an accent because she's from Boston, okay? And you gotta say it right, Boston, okay? Because I'm Boston, okay, I'm, I, I can't do it. Anyway, Patty's gonna teach me how to say Boston the right way. So don't go away because we're gonna be cooking on the Kachina Kitchen. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away. And practice while you're gone, Boston, Boston, Boston. But we'll get it. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Kachina Kitchen. This segment is sponsored by the world's greatest security system, and that security system is Southwest Alarm. You guessed it. All right, here's the deal, okay? No matter where you go, you can go forever, okay? Because if you leave your valuables in the care of Southwest Alarm, you're always gonna be protected. So give them a call at 753-2333. That's 753-2333. I know I say it real fast, don't I? 753-2333, Southwest Alarm. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365. Never takes a minute off. So give them a call and get that protection from Southwest Alarm. All right, I'm here with Patricia Nee. Very Hi, nice Patty. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm very How pleased to be here. <laughs> How you been? I'm good. 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 So what you been up to? Um, just raising money for, with the Kingman Boomers. Really? Yeah. Uh, our goal is 25000 and we've just about hit the $8,000 mark. Really? Oh. And we started collecting January 1st, and we were just around the 8000 mark at the end of January. Because you guys were here the other day doing a show with Carol Young. Okay? That's correct. Last week or two weeks ago, whatever. And you were actually taking aluminum cans, or well, thinking about it anyway. One of the ideas we had was, because uh, people are so financially strapped, mm. um, that if they would save their aluminum cans and turn them in, maybe we can get a can down at the recycling places, oh, and cool. they can just drop the money into that. Okay. Or if a big business would collect their cans, we could come by and pick them up and do the same. Or a big business could just donate, you know, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars to you. Oh, of, well, of course. Well, of course. I mean, we, have, we have businesses in Kingman that could do that. Or sure. The size. So, what are you preparing today? Okay, um, what I've already started doing is getting potatoes made from mashed potatoes. I find that the best potatoes are either your red potatoes or your Yukon gold. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I need you to start this for sure. me, please. Um, you always want to start potatoes in cold water. If you don't start them in the cold water, what happens is the outside cooks, but the inside doesn't. Little fire thing, little red thing. Oh, uh, is that it? it? Oh, oh okay. I thought it was red. All right. Um, they changed it on me. So once I get this up to a boil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it with salt. Right now, there you go. Thank you. Right, Fire in the hole. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on, and this is going to help it come up to a boil a whole lot faster. Oh, okay. With the lid on it? With the lid on it. Oh, okay. And the smaller you cut it, the faster it cooks. The smaller you cut the potatoes? Potato, mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. This, okay. So chop them up finely. Right. And if you could like this for me also, what oh, I'm going to sure. do is I'm going to kind of multitask here. Okay, Patricia, I just want to tell you, I don't normally have to work this hard on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I usually don't cook on this either. <laughs> Nobody cooks on one of these, baby. Okay. But you can cook a lot of meals on them. All right. Ooh, that's a nice and pan. So um, what I have here is a very well-seasoned old cast iron mm -hmm. pan. And I'm going to cook up a few pieces of bacon. And the bacon is going to go as with the topper for our salad. Oh, okay. So I need to get this really done nice and crisp. So here we go. Now we're going to forget about this. Okay. okay. So that's cooking. Okay. That's out of here. I'm going to just kind of move this because what I want to do is make a compound butter for some rolls that we have to go with the salad. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a paper plate so for easy cleanup. Okay. So when you, when you lived in Boston, what'd you do? Um, well, I and was... Come, let me ask you this before sure. you ask that. How come all people from Boston have the same accent? Are you guys all related? It's not that we're related. It's just that we're kind of <laughs> stuffy. <laughs> stuffy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you guys aren't stuffy. It's a nice yeah. town. It is a nice town. Lots of things to do. Very European. 
Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do compound butter. What I have here is a stick of butter. I'm not using the whole thing, okay. um, but it is so soft you can see that I can just put an imprint into mm -hmm. it. Okay. And normally I would use chives, but I just couldn't find any chives yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I'm using a little tiny onion out of my garden. Out of your what? Out of my garden. Oh. My garden. Okay. My garden. That's what I thought you said. Yeah, my garden. Okay. And I find if you just take this and you grate it, you don't end up with big chunks. So like if you want to make a compound butter out of garlic, mm -hmm. do this. You get the whole flavor from it, but you don't get a bite of garlic. I see. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Do, do people in the east, uh -huh. do they eat differently than people in the southwest? Oh, absolutely. How so? Um, well, because our climate is cold, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to use about a half a stick of butter right here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to mix it in. Uh, we eat a lot heartier. Um, more of your stews, um, your heavier starches, oh. you know, your potatoes, your breads, your baked beans. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh, listen. So you actually so would... Almost yeah. going. Okay. You actually would be cooking longer then. Um... Yeah, but after a while, I think you kind of get it down to a science. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off my knife. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to butter up a couple of rolls to go mm. with dinner. You've got some plates okay. there mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Or if you would like to butter it up for me, it's up to you. It makes no difference no, to no, me. No, you should butter it. Uh, you I'm, I'm want me to butter the, your buns, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll I'm, do that I'm for you. I'm bun challenge. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm would you like one or two buns on your plate? Just, just one. Okay. Okay. Why is Dan moving around out there? I don't He's know. Lurking in the shadows. <laughs> so, it, you oh, know. Oh, do you see a stopwatch? <laughs> I forgot to tell you about stopwatch. No. Okay, so what? Rules our life. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Okay, oh, we're buttering the buns. We're buttering the, your With buns. With onions in there. With a little bit of onion. Okay, okay? cool. Just for savory. Mm hmm. Because the um, dressing is going to be sweet for the salad. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, okay. So we're done with this. Mm hmm. I can just take this and I can put everything. Aside here. Okay. I think I'll just come right here and do this. Just put this aside. Good. Now I'm going to start on the dressing for the salad. Okay. And it's as easy as one, two, three. One, mayonnaise. Two, ketchup. <laughs> three, relish. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Okay? This will make Thousand Island. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. You, you know, didn't think I knew that, did you? Some people, you know, what I do basically is. I just put a lump of mayonnaise in it and about, put about half that amount of ketchup into it. Mm -hmm. Give it a good stir. Get it mixed up really, really well. If it's too, too light, you can always add more ketchup to it. Mm -hmm. And if it's too dark, you can always add more mayo to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I prefer just to add the relish just a little bit at a time. Ooh, I because like you relish, yeah. Okay. Well, then we'll start a little bit heavier. Okay. Yeah. We okay. Want Here we go. And we mix it up. And okay, they need for you to tilt it so they can see it in the camera. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Bill likes, Bill's, Bill's likes tilting. Okay, would you like to taste it and see if it needs more? Oh, relish? no, I trust you. Okay. No, no. It looks good. Okay, now we're done with that. Good. Ta da! Okay. We're moving right along. We are. Okay. You're a natural at this. I've been doing it for many years. Cooking? Yeah. Oh, or being on TV? No, just cooking. Oh, I've been I've, <laughs> I'm still learning TV. Okay. Well, our bacon is just starting to start to shrivel a little bit, and um, I'm going to pull it a little bit closer yeah, to the middle of the pan, bacon. so that it can, can you hear that sizzle? That's uh -huh. what we really want to hear is that sizzle. We really oh, maybe I should get my microphone over there. They really want to get going. Okay. So for our that salad, for our salad, once the bacon is really crisp, mm -hmm. um, we're just going to add it on top of the salad, on top of the dressing. And what we're doing today is just a very simple wedge salad. Mm -hmm. It's been around forever. And uh, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into quarters, or maybe for this segment, just into a half and then into quarters. Okay. The easiest way to get a core out of lettuce, Errol, take it, slam it. OK, what happens? It comes loose. Here you go. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's that. And so we're going to unwrap it, and we're going to take a, a few of the outside leaves off. Okay? Okay. Here we go. That's this, this is this, this is this, this is throwaway. Okay. And 
gonna take my knife. We're gonna cut it in half. Okay, so back to my original question. So what did yeah. you do in Boston? Well, in, when I was in Boston, mm -hmm. I drove trucks, and mm. I was a driver's ed instructor for teenagers. Love working a with teenagers. Driver ed instructor? Uh-huh. For high, did, like high school kids? Oh, yeah. Uh, high school kids and special needs. Did you wear a helmet? Because um, the guy that, oh, I'm serious, the guy that did, did the driver's ed with me wore a helmet. No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't wear, I didn't he have did. to wear a helmet. No, I Mr. didn't. I think his name was Mr. Moriarty. Yeah, uh, no, I didn't have to wear a helmet. I, can't, I had my own brake. Oh, he so had a <laughs> steering wheel and a brake and a I helmet. Didn't, I didn't have the steering wheel, but I did have a, I did have a brake. And uh, my rule was to the kids, trust me, I won't let you hurt me. Oh, good model, yeah, yeah. yeah. good line, so, yeah. Okay, so we're done with this. So I'm ju just going to put this out of the side. I happen to like olives. If you like croutons, sliced mm -hmm. onion, tomato, whatever, mm -hmm. go ahead. Put a few along the side of your okay. plate here. Okay, right here okay. Right. there we go. Okay. Do, you, do you want more olives? You like olives? Sure, yeah. Okay, here we go. We'll okay. give you a few more olives. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, look at my bacon. Look at my bacon. It's cooking up real fast. It's going to get nice. nice and crisp very quickly. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper plate and I'm going to start to drain that bacon on it. My driver's ed instructor yelled at everybody in the car. Oh. He was like a um, um, drill sergeant. <laughs> oh, he was like the guy on Gomer Pyle. <laughs> well, All he did was yell. You know, <sighs> I, was, I was pretty nice to the kids because I figured oh, they're nervous nice. enough, he just at you know. But, uh, like I said, I just won't let you hurt me, so. I liked his favorite, his favorite line was, oh my God, you can't make a left turn from here. But you know how, you know what we call a, you know what we call a U-turn in Boston? How we say, make a U-turn in Boston? Got to bang a U-E. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> All right, we gotta take a break here. I'm gonna bang a U-E. All right, we're gonna bang a U-E here. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away, you're kicking on the Kachita Kitchen. Okay. And you're a driver head instructor. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Kachina Kitchen. This segment is sponsored by Dora's Beale Street. All right, folks, you live in the best time of any time in the history of mankind. Because guess what? On your way home, you don't have to cook. Because all you have to do is call Dora's, and they will make dinner for you. It's called On the Way Gourmet, okay? And here's what you do. You dial 753 3463, that's 3463, 753, 3463. Order your dinner. You don't even have to cook ever. You can do it five nights a week, okay? It's Dora's Beale Street and it's called All the Way Gourmet. Great recipes, great menu, and you can get it on the way home. All right, we're here with Patty Nee, and she is from the Kingbin Boomers. That's correct. I'm girl. booming you, baby. Oh, good. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> I like that phrase. What was it? Yui? What was it? Bang a Yui. Bang a Yui. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, are you, we ready to continue on? Of uh, the show? Of uh, the cooking. Oh, yeah. I guess okay. so. Okay. All right. Just, if we're going to... Well, okay. I had okay. other things planned, but well, just let me we do, can do those after the let show. Let me do this real quick. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, now that your potatoes have come up to boil, we're going to <laughs> season with a little bit of salt. Yeah. And you can see that um, you already have that nice foam going on the top. Um, during the break, we took the bacon out of the pan yes. before it burnt. Kay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, chop up the bacon. Chop up the bacon. Okay. Now, we're all, what, what was it that you wanted to ask me? You mean on the show? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Work with me here. <laughs> okay, I'll help you, Patty. All right, um, go right ahead. I don't know what I was going to ask you. Um, oh, money. How can people get money to you? Uh, people can get money. Don't you love that phrase? Yes. Your whole life you go, yeah. If, if I just hear this phrase one time in my whole life, how can I get money to you? Okay. You've lived a full life. You really have lived a full life. Well, anyway, tell people how they can get money to you. Well, if you would be kind enough to send a donation to us, it's going to go to the Kingman Boomers, care of Patricia Nee, that's me, I'm the treasurer, and it's at P.O. Box 4054, Kingman, Arizona, Eight six four zero two. That's eight six four zero two, and we Guess will be. Guess what, Patty? It's what? right here at the bottom of the screen. 
Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just so you know. All right, okay. Yeah. So it's down there now, so everybody sees it. But uh, So how much money do we need to escape? Um, last year, the I'm going to dress the salad now, okay? Last year, the, <laughs> yeah, don't let me stop you. the city of Kingman spent $22,500 on fireworks, to uh -huh. the best of um, our knowledge. So we need like 30 grand to get out of town. Well, house. you know, 30 grand would be stupendous. 2500 would be a boom. No, 25000 25000 yeah, yeah. 25000 would 25 be. The 2500 won't even buy a tank of gas <laughs> to get us out of town, I'm telling you. No, it wouldn't no. even be bring the pyrotechnics <laughs> in. Um, but 25000 that would be uh, would be quite a boom, okay? Mm -hmm. So now you sell, it's ready. Mm -hmm. And um, if uh, we're also doing a couple of fundraisers, mm -hmm. or we have more coming up, but the first two are in the first Saturday of March and the first Saturday in April at oh. Wash Me. And if you feel like you need to get your car wash, they're offering a $3 free car wash. Oh, cool. We're going to ask so for- So they're going to wash the car for free and give the $3 to the boomers? Well, they're Is going to wash the car for free. We're going to ask for a donation. Oh, I see. Okay, and good. And we desperately need youth groups to help us out for mm -hmm. the drying of the cars, mm -hmm. or you cheerleaders out there to come and wave them in and come on in. And we, as adults, don't have the same exuberance as you know, adults, so right. we're going to count on the youth. Um, so we're going to do that twice. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. You know? So let okay. us know about those, so we'll, and we'll put up like a PSA for you. Okay, that's good. great. Okay. I appreciate we'll let that. everybody know. Okay, I'm just going to uh. check the potatoes. So they're just mm -hmm. starting to get a little tender. But in the meantime, okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the rest of the meal. Okay, good. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead, and I have a piece of cube steak here, mm -hmm. and I really flattened it out. Um, because I know like a lot of people are really, really busy when they get home and mm -hmm. they don't have a lot of time to mess around. So just take the help wherever you can get it. You know, get your mushrooms pre-sliced for mm -hmm. you. You know, get the real skinny little asparagus if they're available. I mean, they're going to cook a whole lot quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in do you my do a lot of cooking at home? I do. Your husband cook too? No, he enjoys eating it. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, that's yeah, good. yeah. Well, somebody has to. I mean, yeah. he has his, his assignment and he does it well. He does. Right? He does. He's a good food taster. <laughs> good. Okay, I'm just going to, I like to cook with olive oil. Okay, mm -hmm. that's my preference. Um, some people like to cook with butter. Whatever you use, that's fine. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you know where the woody ends are on asparagus. Just take them and bend them they will automatically snap where the woody ends are. Oh, okay. Okay? So then you can just kind of use this as a template and just come right on in and cut them all off. There you go. There we go. Nice, fast, easy. You so like I, asparagus. I do like asparagus. I, I can tell by your apron. I do. Did you like that? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. nice. Ah, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to season it with a little bit of salt. Okay. And a little bit of pepper. Not too much, because you can always add, but you can't take there, away. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I put my arm over boiling water. Okay, that's okay. I'm fine. I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next, that's going to go into the same pan are the mushrooms. Ooh, okay, that sounds good. Okay. So when you moved to the Southwest, did you have to change your eating habits? Um, I mean, when you went out to dinner and things like that, because I know some of the restaurants here are, are definitely geared for the Southwest. Well, you know, I, the West. I, I did and I didn't mm -hmm. because a lot of the restaurants out here are chain restaurants anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm always open to new flavors and trying new things. Mm -hmm. And um, Southwest or Tex-Mix, once again, a little salt and pepper, sure. is about as foreign to me as Chinese food really is to your cuisine out here, mm -hmm. or you're used to that. So I'm still getting used to it. Oh, good. Okay, there's some So what's your favorite Southwest meal recipe? Um, I like um, I like chicken. Chicken? Done with poblamo peppers and a cream sauce, oh, you know. Good. Okay. And um, So you're it, getting into the Southwest. I am getting into yeah. the Southwest. Yeah. Um, not that much. Okay. Um, so these are starting to cook up. Well, they are. They're really smelling good, too. They are. And <sighs> when this gets just a little bit further, I'm going to add just a tiny touch of garlic to the mushrooms. The same put the steak in. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> this is only going to take like a minute on each side, the steak, so. That's why he's the assistant director. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to. Yeah. I couldn't pass it up. Well, everybody is like way quiet today here okay. in the audience. All okay. right. Well, so, anyway. Okay, so. Um,
Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic because I like it. You okay. don't like it? Don't no, add we it. like you garlic. Know? Okay. You're the chef. Okay. You make it the way you want to. Okay. And I'm basically just going to cook these until they get a little bit of a golden color on them, mm -hmm. which means you brought out the natural caramelization of the sugars already in there. Okay. And some of these mushrooms, as you can see, can you want to see right here? Some of these are actually show, show the viewers. Yeah. getting a little bit of caramelization. Just after show it one more time, because Bill's got to zoom in and move okay. camera buttons and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Okay, there you all go. All right. So when, I'm going to tell you that when your asparagus start and your mushrooms are already on their way, now's the time to add your steak. Okay. All right. Here we go. So guess what's going to happen now? Now that you've added the steak, yeah. we're going to take a break. All right. All right. Break time? <laughs> All right. We're going to take a little break. Here. We'll be right back after the messages. We're still new at this, okay? Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh. Phone number. Phone number for the boomers. Right there. Okay, put it down there. Y'all know. Send your money in now. That way you can enjoy July without feeling guilty that you didn't contribute. All right, we'll be right back after these messages. Go away. You're cooking in the Kachini Kitchen. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Kachini Kitchen, and welcome back my guest chef, Patty Nee from Kingman Boomers. That's correct. Good deal. Okay. Good deal. Um, okay, we just took, got off of a break, and I went out and jogged around the, the block and everything. Just to make room for dinner? Just to make room for dinner. Oh, good. Okay, good. so what are we doing next? Okay, um, we went ahead and we mashed the potatoes. We added the cream the and break? the butter. During the break. I missed that. I know, you're out jogging. Yes, I was. To make room. Yes. Okay. I walked all the way out to the golf cart, got in it, and jogged all the way around the block. Okay, here's the cube steak. <laughs> it's ready to come out. So we're just going to plate mm, it on one deal. plate, mm -hmm. and uh, we can basically just go ahead and cut it in half. Okay, where can they send money? I need to send, uh, you need money. You need money. I need money. I would appreciate it if you would send it to the Kingman Boomers. Mm -hmm. Um care of me, Patty mm -hmm. Nee, or mm -hmm. Patricia Nee. And I they make the checks out to? They make it out to the Kingman Boomers. Do they? Okay, mm -hmm. good, good, yeah. good deal. Okay. And uh, no amount is too small, no amount is too big. So please don't think if you only have $5 that it's too small. It's not too small. Okay, and, and you can send cash. Just make sure it's wrapped up real nice, you know, in a lot of paper and stuff. Yeah. Fool the people out there that are trying to do that. Okay, I'm going to... Is there any drop-off places that they could drop off money? Um, what we're doing is we're putting cans together, mm -hmm. and we need to get uh, businesses who are willing to put the cans oh, okay. on so counters for us. Counter so, cans? Yeah. So I like that, counter cans. Counter yeah. cans. And those, that asparagus looks really nice. Yeah, and they what did they take? Just a couple of minutes mm -hmm. because... Um, they're, uh, so, they're so baby, baby fine. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Mushrooms? We, Mushrooms are coming up next, and we have a website, um, and we're on Facebook. The b Boomers are? The Boomers are, okay, yeah. Cool. And on, the, on Facebook, just go onto Facebook and plug in Boomers, Kingman Boomers. Oh, okay. And uh, you'll bring up our page, and there'll be some pictures and some updates as to what's going on and um, who's, you know, given what. And mm -hmm. So it's, uh, we're kind of excited. You know, we're a brand new organization. It's kinda that was good, Dad. That was really cool. Did you see Dan? No. He walks out behind Bill and goes, <laughs> like that. <laughs> like, oh, One minute. Okay. It was so authoritarian there. All right. Just Here we go. Here come the potatoes. Okay. Look at all oh, that Oh, you put no in there. I got to thank some folks, okay? Okay. You go right ahead. All ahead. right. Culligan, the official water of the Kachina Kitchen. Remember, you can get great tasting water all year long, delivered to your home, to your office, or to your yacht, wherever you want to deliver, they will deliver. So give Culligan a call. Also, True Value Distribution Center. <laughs> Say that three times. True Value Distribution Center. Remember, to, uh, thank Dan Hill and all the guys out there as well. Okay, and we want to thank the Kingman Boomers for being here, Patty Knee. And one more time with the address, phone number. How much money can they send? Um, any denomination of money is fine. It goes to Kingman Boomers, Kara Patty Knee. P.O. Box 4054, Kingman, Arizona, 86402. Okay. And if you don't have money, send gold. It works every time. Every Save time. Save cans. <laughs> send cans. All right. We're going to taste this, right? Taste, taste, taste. Okay. I'm tasting. God. Dan is a, he's a tyrant as a director. Mmm. 
that's good. I told you, never mm. trust a skinny cook. Mm. Mr. D, D, you. Oh, I gotta say goodbye. Oh, that's what you're doing? I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, it's having a heart attack here in the floor, and I don't know why. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Continuation Show. You'll be able to go damn soon. So, Mr. D, you need to come to the so I can come out and have dinner with you? <laughs>